and welcome to Crusader Kings 3 The Fallen Eagle and today we are going to be playing in the Age of Migration, the Age of Attila. We are starting in the 395 start date and this is one of my favourite, one of my favourite time periods especially for Britannia and the, this is the area we're going to be playing in today. We're going to be playing as Vixarius Victorinus of Britannia which, oh I can't wait, I cannot wait. Now a lot happens, this is a very volatile time period, especially in Britain, but throughout the whole of the Western world with the Western Roman and Eastern Roman already being split. We have the Huns, we have the Goths, we have the Germanic Eastern migration to the West, we have the Sassanids. This is a fantastic start date and I cannot wait to just jump into this and well, the host goal for this series, the goal is going to be survive. <laughs> intrigue, are we very good at intrigue? Not really. Um, Let's get the dread to stop people rebelling against us now. I want to roleplay this a bit, of course, but like with all of my campaigns, I do like to do a bit of roleplay. And we're going to Gallo Roman, come on. Come on, we're not Gallo Roman, let's be honest about that. So let's go to decisions and let's uh, go to convert to local culture to Romano Britain or Britano Roman, which I think would be, that's a roleplay thing. Yes, it is a little bit earlier, but I think we've Established connection with the local community. Let I acknowledge who I am. Let's do that straight up, and hopefully people will not get too annoyed at me. And I'm not employing composition. Got a lot of things I need to do. My son Cornelius of Berkham said, "You are a fighter." Fantastic. Let's maybe. You are Britannia Roman Oak already. Fantastic. Let's get you. Give you to the rest. Um, send proposal you get onto there. A few champions, fine. Oh, the music in this mod. Oh, it's fantastic. Now, literally, I've never played this mod before. I haven't even done a practice game on this mod or anything. I don't really know how everything works. The mechanics are still very, very new to me. But as soon as I heard this music, oh my goodness, my inner Germanic pagan came out and honest. Oh. But no, today we're going to be playing as the Romans, or at least as a Britano Roman. We're just going to annoy me so much, but we're going to try, try and stay at least pagan for now because I think within history, Christianity hadn't really yet reached Britannia, or at least in the England Britannia, and we're going to be staying that until now. We'll see what happens with maybe some pagan migrations or what happens with the emperor, but we shall see what happens. The House of Theodosian still reigns supreme on the imperial throne, and uh, the region there is House Stilicho, uh, Viserius Stilicho of the Italian suburb Visadi. Now, a lot of mechanics here, look at the Imperial Senate. Uh, exactly, we last not within my fine. We've got all that, yeah, fine. Factions, we haven't, I don't really know too much about that. We can discover how to go military. Cataphracts, oh baby, we've got 120 damage already. Oh, that is huge. This, these are gonna have to be huge, these cataphracts, these professional soldiers are gonna be, and I'm giving them stats. I'm. 150 damage and we are literally on the first turn. We haven't even pressed play yet. We haven't even pressed play yet. Now they cost 195, yeah, okay, fine. Fine, I get it, but I, if we're gonna survive, we need to, we need to, uh, we need to invest into some cataphrags because they are so good at, and yeah, they can break almost any defensive line with their charge, I hope so. In terms of terrain, plains and dry lands, not very good in hills or oh. That's not good. We've got a lot. We haven't got many planes, but we've got a lot of forest. We've got a lot of. We've got some hills every every there, or at least we should do. Yeah, some good north. We've got lots of hills, so this could be a bit of a problematic, bit of a problem. But I think we're going to spend some because we're not going to be able to get anywhere. We're not going to spend any money. And in terms of our air, our air Basilius, you are a very learned man. Fine, we could honestly getting you to the house of England, getting an alliance there with the is that the yellow little plant or plant that could be huge but honestly would we realistically mm, we kind of need the alliance because we are weak we've only got look at that thousand men that's nothing that is nothing so yeah 25 a little bit of an age gap that's fine they've got a bit of still got some alliance strength so let's get that viking Woman into our now, there we are. Finally, let's get married yet. Yeah. Active election of Western Roman Empire. Who do we want? Who do we want? Who is friendly to us? Who have we got the most opinion of? So, opinion of me. We've got a Britonic Nicene. We could become Nicene at some point, but not yet. 
Mm. Who is, you know what, I think we'll respect strength. How many men have you got? You've got 1800. What about you? You've got 1500. You've got 1700. And you have got 1600. Okay. Well, let's back you then as you've got the most men. I think that makes sense. How do I do it? Active election. Come on, why can't it? Why don't you let me vote? Am I not, I'm not one of the electors, really. Fine, family members can get married. My son and heir, you're already getting married. And my daughter, I may have to see what alliances I can get with you. Potentially domestic, that could be huge. We've got Prufenia. Mm, but we also have got... Who is, who is this? Son of Procons. The heir to Bukan, Britannia, Serkunda. And you are one of my biggest vassals, so I think we're going to do that. Can I get a matrilineal marriage up? No. But that will get you on side, which is going to be huge, absolutely huge. And there we go. There we go. We can calm down from that. We can actually press play. But the, oh, the music in this, this mod, I cannot wait. Now, a lot, a lot of you have actually recommended this to me. And to, the, to those, I say thank you very much. I'm so glad that you have recommended this because this looks fantastic. We really need to progress a little bit more. Christianity is over here. In just in the okay in Kent area and up the Thames, fine, fine. Well, maybe, maybe if uh, we'll see what what happens, well, where the roleplay takes us. Uh, we are actually ourselves craven, diligent, arrogant. Okay, we're arrogant but craven and diligent. Ah, that doesn't make sense. But we think we'll go, but nonetheless, let's press play and let's see what chaos unfolds. There we go. Here we go. Nominate a success. Oh, so I can, I can. We're going to nominate you. Not part of my dynasty, yeah, I know, but what can I do? And Flavius, what we might need to do actually to stop people from rebelling. So your, who is your heir? We need to try and get you. Potentially, ah, oh, no, you're the wrong. Ah, you're the wrong religion. Can I get a conversion? Quite acceptable, hope we'll take it, we'll take it. We'll try and get them on, of course. You are also the wrong religion. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. I'm just uh, playing so badly. Let's go accounts that we want you to try and convert, maybe. Let's go Camelod on it. Um, let's maybe get you on a domestic affairs and let's maybe get cultural acceptance. Is that going to be worth it? Britonic. Mm, I could help with some, against some rebellions, but no, I think we're going to go increase development in County Londinium. That's going to be long term, what we need to do, we're going to get you on train commanders. We, how are we using men? Oh my goodness, already. This is not looking good. It is not looking good at all. But let's just press play again. We're losing money. It's fantastic. We have an alliance though, which is huge. Absolutely huge. And you, no, fantastic. We're, we're losing so many men already. And you get a hook and be fine. But you become the right religion, which is huge. And was it law removed? <laughs> ah, fantastic. Murder holes of priests. I cannot. I cannot afford even. I cannot afford my men at arms at the moment, let alone anything. And my liege has passed other faiths accepted. Fantastic, considering they are not of my my religion. Although the regent is actually who I voted for, so that may be why. That may be why he's voted in favour of that and is pretty friendly to us at the moment. We shall see what the migrate migrations happen. And I've been to who is this? Proconsul of Emilia. Where are you? Palmer. Oh, I don't know. I don't care. That's too far to travel. That's too far to travel. But all of these that would chariot race, I could do a gladiatorial call. Oh, I don't have the Tours and Tournaments DLC, but you know, let's hold call. Let's let the people see their king. Hopefully they won't ask for too much money. Count Maguno II and his wife approach cautiously. Okay, my lord, I am sure, but something dice is trying to harm my wife. That's going to be stopped. DR question. Malice is not a crime himself. You're my vassal. You're not very powerful, I admit. Mm, uh, no, malice is not a crime, indeed. Okay, serious business. Fightful peasant strolls all too close to a guard. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I don't you are my fool. Yeah, you can be a fool, sure. You're just a wanderer, fine. Commoners mark you out. Sure. We're arrogant. Yeah, these are massive commoner. A hero of the frontier. I can't afford that. 
nothing more, honestly. You lose opinion of me, but you're nobody, and I lose suggestions. I'm going, all vassals gain opinion. That's what we need. That is huge for us. That's absolutely huge. Now we've got a very small but elite army. We need to get we're getting more cataphacts in every month. We just need to survive until everything happens. Oh, we've got a hunt here. Sure. Let's join your hunt. Who are you? You're counting my vassal. You're again the wrong religion. But fine. Um, oh, what's happened? The Thames, the river. It's planes plus 10. Oh, we probably should then get someone. That's a lot of gold. Um, let's maybe cultural ambassador. No, these aren't really very make haste, low cost, travel safety. I might just have to just go for it, honestly. There's planes, there's nothing really called plane. Unless I'm just being blind and I'm not spending 30 gold, thank you very much. What about a caravan and master? Sure, let's get my son's wife involved and let's go to let's go to the hunt. A fresh start, I hope it goes well indeed. Making camp soon, soon. Let's go. I'm just that. Um, I'm a hunter. Ooh, I love that. Look that with a knife. Fantastic. And Jim Tays until we begin. Let's just calm down. Let's yeah. Let's be fantastic. Let's keep going. Rude vassal. I'm not going. Let's get people to like me. That's going to be fine. I'm not going to try and berate people. And we have got raiders already. Uh, like a child, but punish that one. No pro consul to act. Who are you? Who are you? Raiders of Castilla. So who, who are you? Who on earth are you? Chief or Wayne? Brythonic. So, okay, fantastic. Fanta oh, I'd love the, there's so many places and people I want to play as, but we're going to be kind of role-playing the real-life King Arthur, who is actually, well, the most likely historical candidate for the real, for the legendary figure of King Arthur is mentioned by Gildas, a, a monk. And his name is Aurelius... I don't know, I'll... Ambrosius Aurelianus is his name, and he's a Romano Briton king who was able to, well, according to Kildas, hold back the tides of invasion for a generation. The invasion, of course, against the against the pagans, the Germanic pagans of the Anglo Saxon Jutes and Frisians, who became what will become known as the Anglo Saxons. Gallia is in a huge civil war. Huge civil war in Gallia, which they seem to be winning just about. We are we've got no troops. This is very not good we are royal court is suffering court grandeur is not where it needs to be we've got yeah look how expensive this is as ministry court one could be latin warlike now i'm interested i think let's get the yeah for sure construction cost and time is going to be huge for us when we're trying to develop all of our counties as much as we can but let's just keep surviving let's just keep going for now my wife is pretty fantastic and what is this whoa 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 Proconsul Magnus of Rezia Prima. Where even is that? Zurich, okay. For too long I've suffered the indignities of the hands of Ember. I'll not stand the eye by. Is this a civil war? Ooh, a civil war against the, the Arlige. Honestly, this is continental. I'm going to. I don't care, he's a Christian anyway. Oh no, he's not a, he's not a Christian. He's not a Christian. He's a long way away though, and we've got. We've got major economic things that need to be done here so i think we are not going to do anything you're, we're not going to we're, cra we're, we're craving that we're craving that just shows that we're not going to rebel against our need we're craving too scared of that let's just let that happen oh that's actually quite a big civil war but none of the major powers seem to have got involved which is fine by us and who is this my chancellor and vassal sure we'll show him and see if we can pay us something Fantastic. See, not all is going to pot, at least just yet. There we go. We need the gold. We need the gold. We are craving, yes, but we're arrogant. These are peasants. We already, we already mistreat peasants once. Let's mistreat them again. I'm going to get some dread as well. Look at all that. Fantastic gold. Let's invest that. I think once again, let's go to Curtains and Walls, get level 2 on that. 0.4, but also the heavy cavalry, cavalry damage and toughness. That is too powerful to say no to. That is too powerful to say no to it. Okay, apparently we are being raided um, by High Chieftain Baldus of the Jufungia, as well as Chieftain Ura of the Ansbach. But that's actually down here in Zurich. This is in Savoy territory. This is continental, so we don't particularly care. However, the thing that does worry me a little bit is these raiders in Altklut by Meerroyet, these Britonic Hen Schwer, uh, they're looking to come into our territory. That's a lot of men. That is a lot of men. And oh my 
fantastic. I have got a granddaughter, Magnia, sure. Sure, sure, sure. And what is this? Sanction war declarations, whatever. We can't do anything about that. That's fine, whatever. Whatever, indeed. Factions, that's against my legion over fine trade, Imperial Senate, Royal Court, anything here. That I need to be too aware of at the moment. Entry, courtiers, council, military, no, we're okay at the moment. Royal Court, we're okay. Money isn't looking great, I'll admit. Money is not looking great, but yeah, they're not raiding me yet. They're raiding me. For the men at arms, what do they have? Ah, oh, they've got, that's annoying. They've got spearmen, they've got pikemen. If I was to sally forth the men, the cataphracts from London, and move north to protect against these our Clutian raiders, how will we fare? Have I got even got any good commanders? I don't even know. There go 862 men ready to go. If I was to. Uh, that would say we'd win, yeah, come on. Our cataphracts going to carry the day, surely. Surely they are. Let's defend our borders, there we go, plus 23. The Battle of Habita Habit and Sium. This is going to be a huge part of this campaign, of just defending our borders against raiders. But I've got a daughter, fantastic. Chobobala, fantastic, that is huge. We have some money. Massive, massive. Looks like the cataphracts, indeed, that was a great decision. We, didn't, we lost a few, we lost five brave cataphracts. But it was a good decision to invest in them and to keep building the walls and bastions that I still think are still being built. That's fine by me. We've got 151. Anything we can build here. It's only a rural villa down there. That's fine. I probably need to actually get some. We've got farms and fields. Could be huge. We need that tax income. So let's do that. We just need that income so much. And because of the court tide, we've got better thing. Battle, victory. Fantastic. We lost 90 men. They lost 900. Oh. These barbarians don't know what's coming for them. We will, I think, in terms of goals, we will try and be able to conquer everything now. Who are you? You are a fantastic. What happened to you? You were just in prison. Is that all it is? Well, I think you're really good, so let's just recruit you in. GG, that's a fantastic commander we've got there. That would be a fantastic commander to have. I'm going to protect our bodies as much as we can from enemy raving raiding even oh god got no gold left, left now but that's fine lost control on dinium let's go to our council and just get back some control especially on dinium although dinium is where we're going to get a lot of money month men from control is only 80 ah let's shift you to on dinium then because that's going to be the way we get the majority of our income from let's just calm down Calm down now. The civil war is being win is being won at the moment by by our liege in the Western Roman Emperor is winning. We actually have a look. We zoom in. If that will let me close, there's a little bit. I understand the performance issues a little bit. We are having them a little bit, but that makes sense. This is a mod, so but all of this trying to become independent. This is this independent? No, it's independent. Uh, okay, fine, 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 fine. Look like Septim Provincia are having a civil which they're losing. Uh, that's not good. That's really not good for all of the established regimes of which we are kind of a part of. We're trying to be a little bit more stable. We've defended our northern frontier. But if we can try and push back to Hadrian's Wall and then on to Constantine's Wall, that could be a massive success. That would be really what I'm looking for. But it looks like the Roman Empire is setting turmoil they're winning the civil war at the moment there's a big rebel army up here there's the second army under Gregorius I was chasing some raiders potentially but let's just calm things down for the moment let's just calm things down everything's going well in Britannia so far anyway now I think we have our first scripted story event happening we have the Brythonic Migrators war that's been declared on us by well our liege by Tor. To Horus Tog or Wayne of the Brythonic army, which if they were to succeed, they would end up getting this province here, which of course is modern day Brittany, named after the Britons who settled here, although the historical accuracy is a little bit off here because that of course happened during the after the Saxons came and burnt down the whole of Britain and forced the Britons elsewhere to the west, each Cumbria, Wales, Cornwall, and then even some across to Brittany. But we're gonna do our best, we cannot face one, and this is something for our liege. 
to help us a bit with, I think. Uh, we're going to maybe raise our own armies down here, or at least wait for a little while. Uh, Trying to dynasty fine, we're getting allowed to potentially be the sun and air that we need. Now, what I actually should be doing is I need to go to my courtiers. We need to get a uh, antiquarian, but also a court tutor as well, so we can start getting some people learning languages. It's going to be very, very useful for the children of our court, especially if we go to like our. Now, you're four. You're not quite old enough. If I go to any of my sons, seventeen, you're you're of age. Fine. Your siblings, yeah, you're not. You're all too old. That's fine. We'll get them eventually. We'll get them eventually now. Nominate success to the Western Roman. What's happened? Why do I have to do this again? He's not part of my dynasty. Is that because you got a new Illyrium? You are part of my. You know what? You're my religion, so we'll go with you. And hold court. I can hold court again. Fine, fine, fine. We'll hold court. See what we'll see what happens. And what is this? Okay. The Serious to the Illyrium. Always come before me, waste order, my lord. The nomadic Yazigans on my borders are restless, and each day move across into his region now. Again, cultural acceptance. Fine, we'll send him a little bit of a holy tomb and Tambridge Temple holding. You know what? Let's try and convert as much as we can. So here we go. I cannot afford. Yeah, you can manage on your own. I cannot afford to do anything like that. Because especially when we have a, a army at our doorstep that are going to be sieging down our lands. Thank you very much. My legion's region has changed. Been replaced by Viserdius Gildo. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Now, I need my liege lord to come over. Are you, is he going to be raising an army anywhere at all? Is he even of age yet? Is the child emperor even around? Excuse me. Still 15 years old. Where is the army of Rome? Where is the help that we need against these? They just stood. They just stood here in Blois. In the castle Edun. Doing nothing. My son is. What do you mean he has no reason to stay? Are you joking me? No one to. What do you mean he's got no reason to stay at court and will soon leave? Why is, why is he fighting for me? Be a, you can be a champion, can't he? My son. Good for some. Although, you know what? If you, can, if you want to leave, fine. So be it. I don't need you anyway. Go off and seek your fortunes. Potentially help out Rome across the world. If I could say to be a diplomat somewhere, I would. But alas, I have no mechanics to do that. At least I don't think now. Yeah, they're sieging that down. Manconium. You're swayed. Fantastic. What have we got here? Life's all poke. Let's go for fine secrets. That's going to be huge. I think potentially what we could do is that we can maybe find secrets potentially in the capital in the mud itself wait um okay here is the capital for some reason is this at uh mediolanum which is i think milan if we can find secrets there get some dirt on the emperor potentially get our get our contract our vassalization contract a little bit better now in terms of buildings i have actually tried to convert this barracks into a manor house why because i need the income and barracks we've already got good stationed stuff there there's not really much point and pay homage no thank you petition leech no thank you we are losing this war i know where is our liege oh, where have they have they left our shores they have oh no they're coming back onto our shores that's bad let's no put me raise my i'm gonna protect my capital but where is my liege where is the emperor there we are eight thousand men we receive reports that they are moving north up the Seine to Lex Ovidum. They are, in, they are going to the English town. They are embarking. I think it's time we join them. Men of Rome, raise our armies and let's march together with our allies, with our liege lord and our imperial overlords. Oh, we've got men, we've got boys. Where are, you, where are you going? Excuse me, where are you going? The armies are down here. My daughter, ooh. I'm arrogant, I'm arrogant. I'm not, I'm diligent, so yeah, go bother somewhere else, I don't care. Fine. Fine, 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 that is a lot of gold. Excuse me, who is leading this army, huh? Galliervus Pontius is some random Roman. Some random Roman. The generals of Rome are failing me. There's nothing I can do but try and protect my capital against these invaders. 
and are we being raided? Not yet. Not yet, but they are seating me down. We're affecting the British economy. We're being raided by Ireland now. In our provinces over in Meath, which were conquered by my vassal, so England, you can make little jokes about Englishmen in Ireland. That wasn't me. I promise. I promise that wasn't me. We've been right raided ourselves, hatching frolic on my territory. I could try, but it looks like we're trying to see each other on anyway. See, done. Uh, I'll work my court. I failed to find any seats on his court to Galerius. No, damn no. I'm not 75 for some, some randomer. You embark and don't tell you're embarking. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're taking their Let's march back to a capital. We'll hold Londinium as long as we may need to. But I need the Imperial Army to help me out. I need them to help me out. Where are they going? What? I'm being abandoned in my hour of need. Yes, I'm a craven. I'm not going to fight them without... Here we are, GG boys, GG. The winds bellow across the endless fields of grass and the air now smells of conquest for it is in the residence of the royal family that a new prince enters the world. Attila is his name and the shamans foretell of his destiny to commence a series of conquests he not yet seen in Eurasia. The shamans speak the truth and the birth of this new prince bodes well for the honey Kaganate, but not much so those who reside in the opulent cities of the Roman empires or those who dwell in insignificant towns and villages across Germania and Carpathia through Attila. Glory awaits for the Huns and for the Empire. This is nothing but false. I'm sure. Who is this man? This random horse lord. Who cares? Uh, fine. Seek this tax. Fine. Get more. Thank you. Um, let's just try not to die. Where? Come on, please. Help me out, man. Help me out. You're um, huge. 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 Let's link up with them. Let's move our boys from Londinium into Corinium. Potentially. Where are they? Yeah, they're marching down towards them there. Let's cross Thames at Corinium. What are you doing? You know what, we can attack these people. We can attack these people and these boys better join. They better join. They're defending in forest, but we're gonna... Please join. Please join. We're gonna smack them at Portsmouth and they are not joining. Abandon. Traitors. Traitors, I tell you. Traitors. How dare they? How dare they? See? see what we did for them and now they crash into them unorganized disorganized how dare they call themselves a roman how dare they call for me to bend the knee how dare they try and do it and that is anything we'll get it we'll get some dirt on the new defeat of portsmouth ha these false false emperor Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't decline those actually. We'll stay, we'll stay London Ian. We'll defend the Thames and they want to do anything. Then fine, but come on. Oh, we lost so many men. This is awful. This is awful. <laughs> you know what? I can't, I can't do anything. This being most insightful, sure. I can't do anything. Disband them. Get rid of them. We're craving anyway. Let's just go hunting. And uh, apparently I haven't got a, I'm invited to an activity, but it's not showing up. Fine. Come on. Do something. Do something. Just sitting there. You know what no, we have to we have to join, don't we? We have to. And they're gonna die. They're gonna die. They're gonna die. They're gonna die, but we're gonna help them as best we can. Come on. Please join in the Gothic invasion of Italia. Everything is going wrong. The young emperor, the, uh, only 17 years of age, is he's losing in Britain. And now a Gothic king, the Marada, Jesus, slaughtering his way across the Pannonian base and pillaging, plundering all in his path. This is worrying indeed. Can we win? No way have we just turned the battle. No way have we just turned the battle. The cataphracts of Britannia. GG, boys. GG. I knew it. These cataphracts are too good. They are, they are too good. If we look at the army comps, what have you got? You've got peasants, peasants, and what is that? Oh, it's not going to show me. But there we go. We've won the war. Liege won the war. Who cares? We won the war for him. We know that. You know that. Battle of Bezingstoke. I'm in debt, but hopefully not for much longer. I'm going to end this episode here. This has been a massive first episode of this series. I've loved it so much. Loved it. This is fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm loving this mod and I cannot wait to bring you 
the rise of Rome, the fall and eagle shall not stay fallen. Don't you worry about that. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for some more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.